Hi everybody, welcome to my big tidy up. My name is Dee Dee. Now, if this is your first time joining my channel, welcome. Here at my big tidy up, I do a lot of decluttering, organizing, small room makeovers and refreshes, and I do a few small DIYs. And by small DIYs, I mean I do simple things like I spray paint a lot of stuff, really, that's what it is. But today I'm gonna to be tackling this bathroom right off the primary bedroom. I've been kind of wanting to change this, but I'm not gonna be painting, doing a lot of major expense or a lot of big major projects, but I do wanna give this room a new look by using some new decor. Now, some of the things I've purchased, some of the things I've kind of swiped from other rooms, I'm gonna put it all together and see what I end up with. But what I wanna do is make this room to feel more like a spa. That's kind of been my mission, and today I'm going full throttle to get it done. I appreciate you being here today, so without any further Further ado, let's get busy on this bathroom and let's get tidy. Well, here it is today's project the primary bath. Now, I don't know why that lamp is leaning like that. I must have hit it by accident. That's not intentional. Normally, it doesn't look like that. But everything you can't see in this room, I'm actually real happy with. If you've been with me a while, you know I've done the closet, the vanity, all the drawers. They're nice and organized. So it's the things you do see, like this seashell wreath, that need to go. All of the decor has been up here probably, I'm going to say like eight years. So if it had a seashell on it, I threw it in this room. If it had blue, I threw it in this room. But this tray right here kind of started the change in my mind where I knew I wanted to make it more like a spa. And look at this little water closet right here. I've got four pieces of decor, one on the wall you can't even see. Like I said, if it was blue, I threw it in this room and I'm ready to get rid of all of the clutter, make it look very simple. And you know, I need to change everything to kind of match these cabinets. Now, the cabinets are a little bit dated, but I think if I pull in some bamboo touches, it's going to make it look like it all ties together. I don't want to have to paint these. Maybe eventually I'll change the hardware, but it's this tray right here. That's what started this chain of events, and I'm hoping to make everything match it. Well, if it looks like I'm dressed for winter today, I actually was. And yes, it's still summer here. Normally it's about 100 degrees, but today, 50 degrees. And of course it would be because I plan on spray painting something today, so of course it would be cold. And here we go. Number one, number two, number three, number four, ooh, don't forget number five, and wait for it because I'm coming back for number six. <laughs> you know, sometimes I am ridiculous. Well, I've got the bathroom cleared out, and I think the only things I've kept in here are things I really am gonna use. Now, I would like to get rid of the drapes one day, but I know that's gonna be a bigger project when I take the rod down and I'm gonna to have to commit to painting then, and I'm just not quite there yet, so I think I'll leave the drapes as they are. Now, I don't have a lot of decor, but I am gonna to try to add just a little bamboo to the vanity. It's just gonna depend on what I have, but I do have all the walls cleared, and I'm ready for this blank slate, and I'll show you, here's the aftermath of everything that I've taken out of the bathroom. Now, 
Now this piece I do want to take back into the bathroom. Well, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to spray paint it. I know you're all surprised, but I think this little rosette will come right off. It's just hot glued on there. And these white towels here, I'm probably just going to have to flip them over so that you don't see the blue, but I'm not sure if I have enough white towels to tell you the truth. I'll have to look and see. These towels, they're just going to go to a different bathroom, so they won't go to waste at all. And I want to try to take this lamp and paint it and make it more neutral. I guess if I mess it up, I do have a friend that does crafts, and so she could make something beautiful out of it. I am going to change my bubble bath and my candles. When I said I'm not having any blue, I mean it. I'm changing even the color of my bubble bath. But all of these items will have to find a new home, lots of decor, but a few things I am going to repurpose. Well, let's go take a peek at all the things that I want to put in the bathroom to replace all of the blue. Now, part of this is new, part of it is old. You've seen it before. This side over here are things that I've already had. Like I've got one bamboo tray left from an organizing project. Maybe I can use it. I've got these Bamboo Lazy Susans. I definitely think I'm going to put my bath products on one of those Lazy Susans. I've got this little stool I can use. I've got this picture here with the lighter wood that I think is going to work. Um, actually, I got it from a dollar store for $10, and when I pulled the little corner pieces off, it was broke. So my son fixed it. It's just been waiting for a home. And this bin organizing set, I've had it, oh, probably since about Christmas. I got it to use for my pantry makeover, and I never used it, so maybe I can use those. We'll see. And all of the items on this side are new, things that I've picked up. Now, I got these from a dollar store for $3.50. I was thinking maybe I could use them as wall decor. I'm not quite sure. I got two baskets from Home Goods. One was $9.99 and one was $6.99. So I'm hoping maybe I can use those for towels or sponges or something. And I got these two canisters. I've already taken the tags off, but I remember they were $5.99 a piece from Hobby Lobby, but they were 50% off. So basically $5.99 got me two canisters and the little spoons were separate. I got those for $1.29 from Hobby Lobby. And then I got this tissue box from Amazon. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I'll link it in the description below. But I've had it for a while, but I'm going to count it as new because I did pick it up when I bought the tray. Normally when I do a room refresh or a room makeover and there's painting involved, I try to knock the painting off right at the beginning of the day so that the paint has plenty of time to dry and cure before I bring those items back in the house. Well, today is no exception, especially today since it's cold. I have a feeling it's going to take these items a little bit longer to dry. Yes, friends, I know the best way to do this would be remove all of the hardware from the glass. But let me tell you, underneath there, it's like looking into NASA. I needed an engineering degree to get all this separated. So I'm just going to tape it and use the baggy technique. And I think I'm still going to end up with a good result. Well, tidy uppers, I think this is a first. I think this is the first time I've ever spray painted anything on camera where there wasn't a duck in the background or the wind wasn't blowing me around. I think this just may be my lucky day. I'll get this spray painted and then I'll head back in to clean.
Well, I know I'm keeping the big basket in the corner because it's going to hold towels. And while I've got these random nails on the wall, I'm going to go ahead and try these trivets before I cut the tags off. But I can tell already before I step back, regardless of the formation, it's a no-go. I think it's too much circle, circle on the wall, circle with the basket. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to the blue guest room. What I can do is if there's something on the wall, maybe I can use it. And then instead of leaving the wall blank, I can maybe replace it with all of that blue decor that I just brought out of the bathroom. And there you go, problem solved. I may need to lower it just a little bit, but while I'm in here, I may take that vase too. Yep, I ended up grabbing that vase. Okay, I'm ready to put some towels out. Um, I'm not sure that I'm gonna have enough to match and have a full set, but as long as I can find some white ones, I'm okay if they don't match. I need four big white towels for sure. Um, one for this rack, I need one for my husband's shower, even though we really don't use that towel there, it's more for show, and it just kind of hides all of his bath products that are behind there. And then I need two for the hooks, and I'd love to have some to put in a basket, 
but um, I don't think I'm gonna have that many. And I definitely need some towels for the sinks. So if I don't have enough white towels for that, then I'll just use the little white towels that had the blue monogramming on there. But I'm gonna go search. I'm gonna go look in the other bathrooms and I'm on the big white towel hunt. Well, the great white towel hunt is over. I did find a few things, probably not everything I need, but enough that I can make do and I didn't have to buy anything, so that's a win. But I did find two hand towels. They don't match, but it's okay. And I did have to use two of the monograms and I just folded them a different way and put them in the back. So I don't even think it's really gonna be that obvious. And then I did find some bath towels. Um, they're different. I found five, they don't match. Three of them do and two are different, but it's okay. And then some random washcloths. Now I did find six if you want to count this one that has the gray stripes on it. So I'm just going to kind of tuck those behind so you can't see them and keep this one on the shower. But if I'm being completely honest, this will drive me crazy. So I will be purchasing another white towel. Next up, this little blank spot at the end of my vanity. Now, when I come in the bathroom, it's the first thing I actually notice. So I've always had like a little lantern or some kind of little decor piece there. Well, since it's blue, I don't really have anything. So what I decided to do was to take a plant from our bedroom and put it in here. And I thought, well, that will add some greenery because you know, spas always have some greenery in there, but it's a little too full. I think it looks smashed if I pull it up against the vanity anymore, and I don't like it sticking out because every time you go in the water closet, I'm gonna hit it. So we do have a plant in our office, and I think I'm gonna go trade it out and see. It may be taller, but I know it's not quite as full. I definitely like the looks of this one so much better. I like the natural wood box that matches. It doesn't stick out as far. It is a little tall. Maybe if I turn it at an angle, I don't know. What I'd like to do is get over there and trim the top of it. But you guys, you know, as soon as I started that, it'd be like when our moms used to cut our bangs. It'd just get shorter and shorter till there was nothing left. Well, the bathroom project is complete, and here are all the decor items that didn't make the cut. Now, they will find a new home, but it just won't be in my house. But I enjoyed them while I had them. And here on this side, these are all things that I'm going to be able to reuse. I'm actually excited to have these big, large, acrylic Lazy Susans back. I know I'll be using them before you know it. And this bin organizing set, I tried to make it work. Actually, the wood is darker, the bamboo is darker, and it didn't match and it looked real heavy. So I'll save it for a later date. But for now, let's go look at the results.
Well, Tidy Uppers, that's all for today. My homemade spa has been put together and I'm ready to relax and try it out. I hope this video inspired you to do something nice for yourself this next week. Now, maybe it isn't like making a homemade spa, but I hope that you'll take care of yourself because we have to take care of ourselves first so we can take care of those we love. I appreciate you guys being here today. Take care of yourself. I mean it. And I'll see you next week. But until I do, stay tidy. Still got your